Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. I also go by Sassy Mingo. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome to my channel. If you are a regular, welcome back. Um, today is Saturday. I'm actually filming on Saturday this week. Um, so I'm filming this in the morning. Well, it's 12 o'clock already. But anyway, um, I've been trying to come on Saturdays and do some type of sale. Today's sale is a little bit of hodgepodge, mix, match, whatever. Um, I was on vacation for five days last week for my birthday. So I'm a little behind, a little behind on getting inventory, a little behind on everything. Um, it was my birthday weekend. We had a blast. I did have a little um, setback. I actually fell in a restaurant. I missed, you know how you can overstep or understep, whatever you call it. I missed the bottom step. Twisted my ankle, sprained my ankle. My knees are all black and blue. Um, nothing's broke. It's just if you have experienced a sprain before, especially in your ankle, you know it takes forever. So my whole foot turned black and blue and swole. Most of the black and blue's gone, swelling. I have to stay off it most of the day. If I'm, if I've been busy, like I've been busy this week, um, by the end of the day, it's, it's swollen. So anyway, um, happy Saturday, y'all. I got some items for sale. I've got some designer items that I'm bringing back that hasn't sold in the past. I've got some new items that I thrifted this week. And then I have like a $5 jewelry sale. I have some Halloween items that are, that are very reasonably priced. Um, they're all new. Um, the Halloween items are. And so anyway, let's, let's just get into it. Um, I also want to say, oh, let me give you some ordering instructions. If you're new here, if you're new here, I'm going to list my email address in the top comment. That will be how I want you to notify me if you want to purchase a particular item. I invoice through PayPal. I can do Venmo. I prefer PayPal. Um, I find you the cheapest shipping I can find. Um, I invoice you through PayPal. I give you 24 hours to pay. If you don't pay within 24 hours, I'm going to cancel the invoice and let it go to the next person. Um, I am fairly new at this selling on YouTube. I am a full-time reseller. I retired two years ago, almost three years, I think now. Good night. Um, anyway, and I was doing this part-time. Now I'm doing it full-time and this is the year I started my YouTube. So all this is new. I'm learning, but it's been it's been great. I have some great followers. I have some great customers on here. And so far, pretty much everybody has just been awesome. They tell me they want an item. I invoice it. I invoice them. They pay usually right away or within the next hour. Or so I get it out sometimes the same day or the next day. You know, of course, today being Saturday, I won't get it out till Monday because um, this won't post till later today. It's it's around noon right now. Again, I'm getting a late start today. Um, so anyway, that's all you need to do is email me the item you want. Under the top comment, I'm going to pin my email address. And then under that, I put sold. And then I put pending. Sold means the item is sold. The customer's paid. It's no longer available. Now, however, some of these Halloween items um, I have multiples of. So once it's completely sold out, I'll say sold out. Um, but until the until it's completely sold out, I won't put it in the sold. Um, under pending is usually if somebody is wanting something and I'm in the process of um, invoicing them and getting everything straight and I'm waiting on their payment, I'll put it in pending so you at least know, hey, I'm probably not going to have a chance of getting this item. But then again, let me know because if it's pending, and someone doesn't pay, then it goes to the next person that's asked for it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what I want to get started with. I think I'm going to get started with one of some of these um, lower end. We'll go from lower end to higher end. How about that? I've got, again, I said, I've got some $5 jewelry. 
I've got some Halloween items. But I think the first item I'm going to show you is this dog mom hat. Is this not precious? Um, you have this like Sherpa dog mom um, applique on here with the dog print as the O. I just love this. I think it's so cute. It's a like a black gray washed distressed look. It is adjustable like this. Fits most size. I have a pretty big head. <laughs> my kids have big heads. So it fits. It fits my daughter and my son even put it on one time and took a picture for me. So um, I'm offering this dog mom hat for $5. I have five of them. The dog mom hat. I was, I was looking on my paper to see if I wrote it down. I don't. So I'm going to write it down. Dog mom hat five dollars what a cute y'all we're in we're in september we're in the second week of september christmas is going to be here and a lot of people i know a lot of families the week after thanksgiving is christmas all the way every weekend is a christmas event and 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 i'm the same way so you need to start shopping now these are new these are new they were boutique items i ordered they're 100 percent cotton I ordered these um, to sell on Poshmark under my boutique. I've sold, oh my gosh, I've sold so many, but I'm down to like five and I'm ready to get them gone. So I'm offering them to you as my subscribers, as my followers for $5. And I have five of them, but what a great cap. Everybody wears caps. You have that day where you just throw on your cap and you run out the house. So dog mom, $5 and I only have five of those. All right, next we're gonna do a Halloween item. I have some little Halloween yard flags. I have two different kinds. I'll show you this one first. This is the Sanders, Sanders Sisters? Is that what you call them? The Sa is it Sanders or Sanderson? The Sanders Sisters. And it's their three silhouettes of their hair and it says, I smell children. And this is the small yard flag that hangs on the little post that you stick in the ground. It's black. It has the um, witch cauldron down here with a little bat. It's like, it's a linen material. It has the slip on the top for your um, flag. And I'm gonna offer these for $8. I have two of this one, two of the witches. So just say witch flag, and it is printed on both sides. Again, new in the package, eight dollars. Um, and then the next one I have, these are so cute. Some people, I, I, I hung this out last year, and I, I got a lot of got a lot of giggles and comments when people came up trick or treating. Um, so the next one I have is, let me get it out the package. Is I'll call it the Boo flag. And I have, I have three of this one. This is, you have, it says boo, and you have a ghost and a pumpkin and a cat. How cute. I love this one too. I actually could put two flags in my yard because I have a long front yard and I have like a little island with some palm trees and some little Sega bushes and all. So I think this year I'm going to put one of these out there and then the witch one up, up by my porch. Um, but again, this is a linen material. If you can see how it looks, it is a yard, the flag that sticks in the ground. And these are $5. And I have three, oh, sorry, eight. I'm sorry, $8. I have three of these. New in the package. I would say a great gift, but you don't really give Halloween gifts. I don't. You know, unless somebody has a birthday in October, the beginning of October, that would be a nice little gift to add like in a basket of an array of things. So let me get these out of the way because y'all, my desk is full of stuff. I I have no, or I don't have any organization to this today. So two Halloween flags, the witches. I have two witches and three boos, $8 each. Sticking with the Halloween theme, I have these Halloween headbands. They are new in the package. Um, I'm down to the last few of these. I have two orange 
So this is what the headband looks like. It has a little knot in the front. Um, I've even saw some, some people sold it as like a ponytail holder. If you ride a motorcycle, um, I've had ladies purchase these, not just for Halloween, but you know, cause they have like the tie dye, the biker chick look, they have little skulls on them. I have two orange and I'm offering these for $5 each. And then I also have the same thing in a purple colorway. Um, I have three, it's weird, I have two and three. I have three purple left. Um, they are stretchy, you can tell. This is the purple and the purple, black and white colorway. Um, it does have the knot. You know, you can do the knot like in the back and then have this up here. You, some people put the knot in the front. I, I'm not a headband person. So anyway, here you have it. These are $5 and they're new in the package. So I have three purple and two orange. Our last Halloween item is a pair of earrings. Put those down. Our last item is a pair of Halloween little bat, they're not little, they're kind of big, bat earrings. They are the black, they're the seed bead with the black seed beads in the middle and the orange on the top. These originally went for $14.99. I'm offering them for $5. These are part of the $5 jewelry sale I'm having. They're new on the card. It says Prep Obsessed. These look like they came from a boutique. Um, I have some just like these that the month of October, I try to the last couple weeks right before Halloween, I do on my Instagram page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of, well, I do a series of earrings of the day. I do a picture with the earring of the day that's matching my outfit and I, you know, pipe in a, a funky song to go with it. Um, I do it every day um, up in my stories and then down in the bottom where you have your highlights on Instagram, you can go back and see all the ones that I've done. Um, <clears throat> I love it. That's the fun. That's I, I just love it. It's so fun to do earring of the day because I love earrings. I love jewelry and I love earrings. Um, and I love big, bold earrings. So anyway, these bats are $5. But again, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram. My um, Instagram handle is Sassy Mingo. I will, all of that will be in the description below. Um, but again, bat, I get, y'all, I get sidetracked. I get squirreled. I get, so we'll be all over the place today if you're new here. <laughs> anyway, bat earrings, $5. I only have this one pair. One pair. All right, now we're going to go into, um, what was I going to say? I have two pieces of jewelry that are not $5. And then after that, the rest will be $5. So let's do the two that are not $5. I have this sterling silver. It's stamped 925 um, cubic zirconia ring. And now you can see the sides are like twisted. There's little stones all the way over on the side. They go, as you can see, they stop like right there. The middle has a center stone and then it has the halo CZs all around it. This is a size six. It is stamped 925 um, and I'm gonna offer her up for $15. This is a great ring. I don't know if any of y'all, um, what a lot of people are doing now, like when they go on vacation, they go on beach vacations, they go on cruises, they go on an all-inclusive, whatever type of vacation, a lot of women are not wanting to wear their diamond, which is, let me tell you, is so smart. They buy, you know, a faux diamond that looks nice. They still want their bling because I'm like, I like to have my bling on that finger. I'm so used to it but they buy something like this and wear this in case they lose it. Um, my husband metal detects all the time and he metal detects on the beach. He metal detects at the lake. He metal detects anywhere he can metal detect. 
and you would not believe the jewelry that he finds. I mean, a lot of people think, well, that's why he's metal detecting. No, he, we live in, um, we live in South Carolina in an area where there's a lot of old battlefields and he finds all kinds of Civil War buttons and bullets and all that kind of stuff. That's really his thing. But him and my brother, my brother-in-law and my husband, they're big into the metal detecting and the diamonds and the gold that they find on the beach, y'all, don't wear your good stuff. To well, I shouldn't say that because my husband won't find it. I can have it. So anyway, this is a great ring for that. It is on the smaller size. It is a size six and I'm offering her for $15. Okay, let's get moving. Let's get moving. The next jewelry item I have that is not $5 is the sterling silver. It is a sterling silver chain with this gorgeous tree of life heart locket with abalone inset. The locket does open. All together, it's 22 inches. The chain is 20, and this is this is right at two inches. It is the the heart is stamped. The heart is just plain on the back, but the heart is stamped on the bottom. 925. The chain is stamped. <clears throat> it is, it does, it is not adjustable. Well, yeah, it is. It is. So I have it all the way. <clears throat> Sorry about that, y'all. I have it all the way to the end. So it's 22 is your max. It is adjustable. It looks like it could probably go to 18. Um, gorgeous piece. Look at that tree of life. I know this isn't showing that great. The locket does open. I'm gonna ask 20 for her. Oh, one thing I hate about wearing a black shirt you have hair all over you. See the locket opens and you can see the abalone in there. It is gorgeous. So $20 for the heart tree of life 925 necklace. Okay. Now let's get into some $5 jewelry. I have, um, well, let's do this one first. This is an 18 inch mom. It's called family is everything. It's a mom necklace. It's a mom charm necklace. And then it comes with all the different months birthstones. New in the box, new on the card, $5. Just say mom necklace, $5. How cute. It is not, um, you know, it's, it's faux gold. It is gold tone. And then you have all your little charms that you can add to it. I think that's so sweet. The, heart, the O in the mom is a heart, as you can see, I'm trying to get up close. But you have every month, um, I'm offering this for $5. Our next item, this is not the box that came in, but I wanted, it was on the card, so I wanted to stick it in a box. It's a little wonky. This says Genuine Crystal 18-inch Pendant and Earring Set. It is silver tone. It is the S Earrings and the S Pendant. The necklace is 18 inches. Did this one, did the mom say how long it is? Mom, 18 inch. So the mom is 18 inch and this is 18 inch. So this is an S and you have little crystals paved inside and you have the S earrings, $5. This is not the box that came in. It, I, it came on the card, but I added that box for you. Pretty much any jewelry that you order from me is gonna come in a gift bag or a box. Okay, even if it's just the $5, that's just, you know, I like to wrap it nice for you in case you want to gift it. This is new on the card. It is says Miss to Mrs. Congratulations to the future Mrs. 18 karat gold plated. And it's a diamond shaped diamond necklace. Um, I'm assuming this is a 18 to 16 inch. I haven't taken it off the card. So if you need to know, I will, but normally these are like 18 inch. It's new on the card, Miss Two Misses, and it is a gold, 18 karat gold plated um, diamond. I think that is so cute. And you know, really, 
if you just want it for yourself and you're already a missus or you're a miss and you're nowhere near being a missus, that's okay because it doesn't say miss or missus. It's just a diamond. It's just the shape of a diamond. And who doesn't love a diamond? Again, 18 karat gold plated, $5. Diamond necklace. Just say that. Our next piece is a Make-A-Wish bracelet. It's new in the package. It says, put on this jewelry and make a wish. When the chain has worn through, legends say your wish will come true. Great stocking stuffer. Great stocking stuffer. And this right here looks like a little wave. Isn't that cute? For the little beat, for the beach loving teenager, grown woman, it is the bolo style. It's like, it's cloth. And then the little charm is gold tone. New in the card. $5. Make a wish bracelet. Um, our next one is, it's Cupcakes and Cartwheels is the name brand. It's another bracelet new on the card. It says Happiness Wish Bracelet. Tie this bracelet on and make a wish. While you wear it, while you wear it, happy and joyful feelings will come your way. Once the bracelet falls off, your wish will come true. So it's another wish bracelet. So we'll say, um, so I know the difference which one you're talking. We'll say, um, make a wish and then happiness wish. This is a gold. I'm trying to see what this is. It's little, little like gold sea beads intertwined with the rope. And again, the name of the company is Cupcakes and Cartwheels. And it's a wish bracelet. How cute for a stocking stuffer. $5. Again, staying with the bracelets, we have another bracelet. This is the, a prayer bracelet. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Philippians 4.6. It has a little, um, it has a prayer box hanging from it. It is black, white, and gray and silver tone. I'm getting ready. Write your own prayer or message. And then on the back, well, this is, I guess I need to show y'all the bracelet. This is the bracelet. It's $5 again. Um, this is your little prayer box. It opens up. I haven't taken out, but I noticed on the back there's a little envelope and it says more inspiring prayers inside or write your own personal message. So there's more little, there's little messages in this envelope that you can put in this box. How sweet. And then each bead, it says use the beads as a reminder. Pray for loved ones. Pray for strength. Pray for healing. Pray for peace, pray for those in need, pray for whatever is in your heart and mind. So each stone, each pattern on a stone is for a different prayer. Isn't that sweet? I love this. $5. Okay. Next we have, I'll, I'll do, this is the last bracelet, I believe. So this is a bracelet. It's a $5 bracelet. And if you can tell, I, I couldn't. Let me see if it'll fit me. Yeah, it'll fit me. It's it's small. I have a small six inch wrist. And you can tell it just, it, it fits me with a little bit. So a six, six and a half, the opening, it is adjustable, but I would not pull it that much. But it is gorgeous. Look at the lace. Look at the flowers. This is gorgeous. It's a black metal. Um, There are... There are not, there's no signs of wear. That's what the inside looks like. This would be a great, um, a great piece to go with a Halloween outfit. If you're like, you know, a funky witch, um, I don't know, goth. And it's not even really goth because it's black lace and flowers. I just love it. So $5 for the black lace bracelet. Again, it's on the smaller side. I would say no bigger than a six and a half for this guy. Okay, $5. That's all our bracelets. Um, we have another necklace, an earring set, new on the card. It is gold toned. This is great for a holiday um, party, an office party. You have this gold tone necklace that goes down into a V with some rhinestones. 
and then you have these earrings. This is very subtle. This isn't the big, you know, big, bold um, necklace or earrings. This is very subtle, very delicate, very dainty. And this again is new on the card for $5. $5 for the whole set, y'all. Earrings and necklace, gold tone. I would say that's about a uh, 16 inch, yes. And it does not have an extender. If you need exact measurements, I can do that. Um, just email me. So let's call this holiday set. The holiday set is $5 for the necklace and the earrings. We have another necklace new on the card. Now this is a long gold tone necklace with these little clover stations and they're pave with rhinestones. Um, it is a long necklace, as you can tell, and it also has pretty much like a three inch extender. It's gold tone, um, gives that Van Clef vibe, um, designer vibe, but you have your little pave stations and this is $5. We're almost down to the end of the jewelry, y'all. Again, I said this video was not going to be very long today because I have I have so, so much to do. So much to get pictures taken of, so much to get posted. I have a lot of shipping to do today. This was a good week for sales, which I, again, I, I ship out the same day or next day. Yesterday, I think I sold 10 items on Poshmark, which is unbelievable. My Posh has been very slow. So that's just another sign that we're in the last quarter of the year and people are buying. People are buying for holidays. People are buying for themselves. They have lots of parties and events to go to. So if you have that death pile, get your items listed. Get them listed. All right. Our last, no, not our last, our second to last $5 item is another holiday necklace. So with this one, we'll just say holiday necklace. It is silver tone with these rhinestones that drops down into this teardrop pendant. It's pretty much about a 16 inch with an adjustable, probably two inch, probably 16 to 18. It goes down into this V. So if you have a V cut dress, holiday blouse, sweater, whatever, this this would look great. $5. So just say holiday necklace on this one. The other one was holiday set. The last one, no, I got another one. I keep, I keep seeing something else. So this is new on the card. Now, I did not have a box this size, but this is a two necklace guest set, new on the card. It is silver tone. Um, these are short. These are short, these are either, what are these? Are these anklets? These may be anklets, y'all. Are either very short chokers. Um, Cause you can see like, there's the hook and then there's this. So if you need measurements, let me know. If not, I would say these are anklets. Possibly could be a choker if you have a very thin neck. $5 for the guest set. Two guest anklets, bracelets, chokers, $5. Our last necklace, and I'm going to put it, it's a $5 necklace, but it wasn't on the card or anything. I'm going to put this on the mannequin so you can see. It's a, is that not cute? It's silver tone. It is, I'm noticing there's a little knot right there. I will get that out. It is a tennis racket. Um, tennis racket, pickleball racket, whatever you want to call it. It's a racket. How about that? <laughs> it's silver tone. It is not sterling silver. It's not 925. It's, um, it's probably 18 to 20 inches. But again, I can give exact measurements if you're interested. And this is $5, $5 for the tennis, for the racket necklace. And that is is our last piece of jewelry. I have a few pieces of designer items. Um, 
I'll wait to the end. Sorry, <laughs> I had to pull them closer. I'll wait to the end to do the big ones. Um, so the first first thing we have is a pair of sunglasses in the case. Look at this snake skin, snake skin case. Isn't this gorgeous? Wait till you see the glasses. These are Maui Jim tortoise shell polarized sunglasses. Y'all, just look at this. Are these not gorgeous? There's your Maui Jim. There are not, let me make sure. They are in like new condition. These just, they don't fit on my face. If they did, I would keep them. You have the little rubber thing right there. Um, they just do not fit my face. In the, the style says, it says MJ202-22, if you want to look them up. Made in Italy. I could not find this exact. I didn't do a whole lot of research, I'll be honest. I just didn't. I just know that Maui Jim is a very good, I have a couple of pair of Maui Jim sunglasses and I love them. They are my go-to. You've got your Maui Jim right there on the lens. Again, I'm not, there may be very, very slight little scratch down, at the, down, the, down here is what I'm seeing, but they are an excellent, I can't say excellent because there is a little scratch. There are a few little scratches. I'll say great condition. Um, I'm offering these to my subscribers today for $50. $50 new in, well, no, in the case, in the matching case. Look at that. Look how great that looks. Oh, I love these. I wish they fit me because I love a tortoise shell sunglass. Sunglasses, most of my sunglasses are tortoise shell. This is kind of a stripe. Kind of a kind of on the wild side of a tortoise. I love it. $50 for the sunglasses. All right. Moving right along. Next, I have a pair of shoes. I have a pair of Vionic flats. They are black, white, and gray snakeskin. They are leather with your rubber heels. If you're not familiar with Vionic, Vionic is a um, line that is great for people that have feet problems. Um, a while back when I was still working, I got that planner's fasciitis or whatever you call it. And my doctor said, you know, he said, I'm not, I'm not saying they're going to make them better, but they recommend these shoes. And I actually got wedges by Vionic and warm to work. And it was like, it was a game changer, which I ended up getting the three shots in my feet and then it went away. But the shoes, I still, I still wear them. They're, they're, oh, they're the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. But anyway, these are used. They are not brand new, but they are in like new condition. Here's the back. Here's the front. They're size nine. They're called the Carol snake skin. They have the Vionic padding. There's not any scrapes or anything on the front. And what did I say? Um, size nine, $25 for the Vionic flats. These are so cute. All right. Our next pair of shoes. We only have two pairs. No, we have three pairs of shoes today. The next pair is a size seven. These are Carl Lagerfield. They are a tweed, pink, white, gold, jute, like flat espadrille. These are adorable, y'all. These are like in new condition. You can tell from the bottom that they may have been worn once or twice. I bought these for myself. I did not wear them. Um, I bought them, I bought them used. I did not buy them new. I bought them for myself because that's my size. And they have sat in my closet and I have come to the realization that if it sits more than a season, then it's time to go. These I bought for last summer. I think I wore them one time. My feet sweat. 
I'm a very hot natured person and these shoes, I just couldn't wear them in this, you know, I just couldn't wear them. They are gorgeous though. Look, they have the jute right here there and, and you can see the sparkle. These are size seven and I'm asking $25 for these. Carl Lagerfield, y'all, in like new condition. There's the back. This is the bottom. You have a rubber sole. So they're very comfortable. They're just, that tweed was just too hot for me. So I didn't wear them this summer. I wore them maybe once or twice. So I have decided to let them go. $25. Okay. Now we have two more items and then we'll be done. Okay. So these I offered before, I think my very first, um, one of my very first sales, live, not live, but you know, YouTube sales, I offered up these Gucci shoes. They come in the original box. Where is the, oh, I thought I, oh, maybe it's, okay. There's the sticker right there that describes the shoe. Oh, these are gorgeous. I cannot believe these haven't sold. Look at this. Look at these. I forgot what size they are. They are a 39, which is a size nine, right? My bad. I forgot to look. But look at the back. These are a limited edition pair from Gucci. Look, they have the horse bit. They are like a calf. I think it says on here. These are called the Pony Saint Nature Small Magala. I don't know what all that means. But I guess they're pony. I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know. They are in the bottom you can see has some wear right here, but the heel is in excellent condition. And I'm asking, what am I asking? Do, 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 150. 150 for these size nine limited edition Gucci pumps. I think that was a four and a half to five inch heel. Look at that gold. I just love it. And then you have the little gold Gucci right here. Gucci inside. It says Gucci made in Italy. Gorgeous. How, I mean, I can just see these with a pair of jeans, a boho top, country western festival, music, a concert. I mean, who else is going to have these? That's what I like about thrifting and vintage and stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm trying to get my daughter into it because I'm like, my daughter's 26 and I'm like, you know, everything has its thing. Like everybody's carrying Chanel purses. Everybody's carrying Gucci purses. Everybody's got their Louis and you go to a party and everybody's got the same shoes on. They may be a different color, whatever, whatever. Um, but when you show up with something, whether it's a designer or not, but if it's old, if it's older and you thrifted it and they can't just run out and get it, what kind of feel? I think, I just think that's great when you say, oh, it's vintage. I thrifted it or it's, it's antiqued or, you know, like, especially a pocketbook. I carry, I carry crazy pocketbooks and I, people say, oh, where'd you get that purse? And I'm like, I thrifted it. It's it. I thrifted it from an antique store or it's vintage coach or something like that. And it's just, you know, it's just that feeling that they can't run to the local store and buy it. I think that's great. I think we're, I think, you know, repurposing like these right here. There's nothing wrong with these shoes. Somebody needs these shoes. They're $150. They're a size nine. They're way too big for me. I cannot wear them and I can't wear heels like this any longer. So $150 in the box to say Gucci. All right. And our last item 
which I'm really surprised this didn't sell when I offered it up before. This is from my own personal collection. New in the box, not new, in the box. Comes with the box, comes with the paperwork, comes with the dust bag, comes with the ribbon for the box, the dust bag, all your paperwork. My receipt is in here showing where I purchased it. I purchased it from um, the Louis Vuitton store in Charleston, South Carolina, in the Charleston Place hotel thing. It is the Pochette Medi Medis Pochette. I, well, I'm from the South. I can't say all these fancy, fancy things. Anyway, it's a crossbody. It's the reverse, um, the reverse logo, I think is what they call it. Zipper on the back. The gold snap front. This is the inside. There is only one thing. And it's so faint, I can't, I can't ever find it. But I cannot believe that I let it happen. Maybe I got it out. There was a slight pin mark. I'm thinking it was somewhere up here, but that's on the inside. It's not on the outside. Where did you go? Maybe I got it out. Um, comes with the crossbody strap that is removable. You have your gold Louis Vuitton hardware, adjustable. You know, there's really not much to say about this, except it is in excellent condition. I used it a few times um, and I haven't used her in a long while. And let me tell you why. And I'm, I'm just gonna be up and honest. I love this size of a crossbody. I love my crossbody to go this way instead of this way. So this is perfect. But I love my crossbody to open on the top. Uh, this right here, open it and then trying to go like that. I, I just found myself not pulling for it. And if I can pass it on to somebody, I mean, this would be a great Christmas present for somebody. I mean, you know, you almost wouldn't even have to say that it's used. I mean, you should because that's, you know, that's telling the truth. But it comes with the box. It comes with the ribbon to tie around the box, the dust bag, the paper, the, the original receipt in the little Louis Vuitton envelope. Um, I'm going to ask $1,600 for her. Last time I offered her for $18, I think. It was 18. So I'm offering her because she did not sell before. I am offering y'all. I'm still trying to find that pin mark. I swear there was a pin mark on her, but I'm not seeing it. I, I guess I got it out. You know, I have so much going on that this is what the sides look like too. It's that I, I just love it. This is the bag that I designed. It, this bag was not available for a very long time. You could not find it anywhere. It was sold out online. The stores would get one or two and they would have a waiting list for it. And it is the first Louis that I wanted. However, it wasn't the first Louis that I got. Because I wanted this and I couldn't get it, I ended up buying a Speedy and then the, um, oh God, what's the big one that everybody has? The Neverfall. I bought those. I still have those. They're, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of out of my Louis phase and I would like to sell her so that I can buy something else. I really, there's a Gucci that I want, which I know I'm not going to get for $1,600, but at least that will be a dent in it. <laughs> I could justify buying. Um, and I'll probably buy used. I would, there's a, there's a vintage Gucci that I want, but anyway, no, no, who cares about what I want? Anyway, so here's the bag. $1,600. I know that's an investment, but she's in excellent condition. She comes from a smoke-free, I'll say pet-free home. I do not have a pet. Now, my children have dogs, and I keep, I keep my daughter's dogs from time to time. One is a cockadoodle, which they do not shed. The other is a collie, and he sheds. So, after my daughter's dogs leave, you know, the house gets majorly clean, but I don't have a pet in my home. We do not smoke in the house. We do not smoke. So 
Um, it's not like it's been in the car with a smoker. It, you know, whether it was in a restaurant and somebody, or, you know, out in the air and somebody, I walked by and somebody was smoking, but it, you know, it's, it's, it's smoke free, pretty much pet free home. Um, free shipping. I will say free shipping on her and free shipping on the Gucci shoes if you purchase them. Okay. So that is the end of my sale today. I know it wasn't the normal purse sale that I normally do. I just, I haven't been, I haven't gotten a lot of inventory lately. I'm finding it very hard to source, but I'm not giving up. I did have a pretty good thrifting trip yesterday. I went to see my grandbaby, little Hallie Mae. And I stopped by a Goodwill that is not close to me. And I was able to pick up a few items. But um, I do have a, a thread up fun box coming. I have a thread up denim box. Actually, it's sitting downstairs. I'll probably do that video later this afternoon and post it one day this week. It's the denim box. I haven't gotten the denim box in a while. And because I'm not able to get any of the other boxes that I want because they sell out so fast. I went ahead and purchased the denim box. The denim box has been good to me in the past. Um, anyway, this video is too long. It's past 45 minutes. That's way longer than what I want it to be. If you want to purchase something, email me. Um, I invoice through PayPal. I will do Venmo, Venmo if you prefer Venmo. Um, Y'all have a great day. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Thank you for watching. And y'all have a great weekend. Bye now.